Hey, what's up, everybody? So good to be back. Good to see you guys. Good to be able to interact with everybody again, even if it's not in person. Um, I hope everybody's having a good time at home. Um, but we still need to be able to get some stuff done. So let's get started. Today, uh, we're going to talk about some eighth notes, how to count them, uh, how to play them, and how to rest them. Cool. So um, we're going to use a couple of things. We're going to use uh, number four out of your out of the book that we've been using uh, this week so far. Um, it's in the uh, resources that Mr. Newton has passed out for you guys. Um, number four, Aurora Mi Nino. Um, and then as well as I've got a little uh, PDF handout as well for you guys that will be listed on the resources. Um, so I want to start first with the um, eighth notes in 4-4 and 2-4 PDF that's in, uh, listed in the resources. Uh, so the first thing you see here, um, we'll start at the really t at the top of this piece. Uh, it starts with 4-4, four, four, right? So the first thing you see, the first measure, um, it's got quarter notes, right? And we count those in 4-4 four, four as 1, 2, 3, 4. The next measure after that starts to incorporate those eighth notes in there, which you can see it's listed over top of the notes. Um, it's listed with 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, how we count eighth notes in 4-4. Four, four. Um, but for this next measure, take a look at measure two. We've got one and two, three and four. And then the third measure, we've got the quarter note first followed by the eighth note. So we've got one, two and three, four and one. Um, and then followed by the last bar there, which is one, two, three, rest on four. So if we were to uh, read that whole top line, we would be able to say one, two, three, four, one and two, three and four, one, two and three, four and one, two, three. Rest on four. Cool? All right, sweet. So let's keep looking down. Um, I'm actually going to jump ahead real quick. If we could go to the two, four, that's at the bottom of the sheet. Um, it's got the number six right above it. And uh, I want to talk our way through counting this. So it's in two, four. So we still count one and two and. We just don't count three or four because we don't have three or four. Uh, in, in the measure because we're playing in 2-4, right, which is only two quarter notes. Um, so if, you, if you'll kind of catch on so far with what we've been doing with eighth notes is uh, an eighth note is exactly half of one quarter note. So if I play one, two, but I also wanted to play eighth notes inside of that, I'd play one and two and, right? Like that's how that would work out together. Um, so let's take a look at the 2-4 stuff together. Let's take a look just here at the top line. So we've got one, two, one and two and one and two and one, rest, one and rest. Cool? Um, the rest of this stuff I'll leave up to you guys. You guys can keep playing through this. Um, I'll include a short clip here at the end of me just drumming these rhythms with the metronome so you guys can clap along with me or drum along with me. Um, real quick though, I would like to switch over to um, the resource that Mr. Newton has provided for us, um, number four, um, Aurora Mi Nino. Um, I want to talk about the rhythms in here. So we've got a couple of different rhythms as well. We've got eighth notes, we've got quarter notes, um, more eighth notes again, and then we've got a half note, right? So we'll talk about these rhythmic values, and I kind of want to count through this piece with you just so we're all on the same page. Um, so for the wind players, we do have slurs, right? We've got a tied note from one note, to, uh, one eighth note to the next eighth note. Um, however, that does not change uh, how we count or how we play the rhythmic value, right? Um, all that happens is the articulation is different as we go from one note to the next. So if we were to count this together, I want to just count the whole piece down from top to bottom. It's in two, four, right? Just like that last example we were working with. So if we count in two, four, right? We've got one, two, ready, go. One and two and one, two. One and two and one. One and two and one, two. One and two and one. And then we repeat, right? We go back to the top and we repeat the piece all the way through the second ending, which the rhythms stay the same. Uh, the notes just happen to change, right? Um, so really important though, we hear the difference between the quarter note the half note as well as the eighth note, right? So we've got half note, which is every two counts. So we've got half note, two, quarter, quarter, 
eighth, 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 one, right? So if you were to think about that in that series of events, right? One, two, one, two, one, and two, and one, right? So that's one bar per new rhythm, cool? All right, um, hopefully this answers any questions that you guys have about uh, playing these eighth note rhythms. Um, the one thing I do wanna touch on here at the end um, is just how we would rest an eighth note as well. Um, it's really possible that you're gonna see, you're for sure going to see in the next couple of pieces that you play as well as through the rest of your career, eighth note rests. Um, eighth note rests are the ones that kind of look like a little seven with the ball on one end of them. Um, and those are counted the same way that you count a normal eighth note. The only difference is you just don't play on it. You rest on it, right? So for example, um, let's take a look back here. For example, if I've got two eighth notes and then an eighth note rest and then one more eighth note, I would have one and and, yeah? Because I would be resting on beat two. So I'd play one and, rest on two, play the and of beat two. So that would be counted one and and, right? And then if you wanted to repeat that, one and and one and and one and and one and and one, right? Four, four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two and three, four and one, two, three. One, two and three and one and two and three and four and one and three and one. Two, three, and two, and four, and one, and two, and four, two, three, and one, two, three, and four, and two, and four, and one, three, one, and two, four, and one. Two and three, four and one and two, three and four, one, two and three, four and one and two, three, one, two, three, four, one and two, three and four, one, two and three, four and one, two, three. Okay, next one is the two four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one and two and one and two and one. One and two and one and two and one, two. Two and two and one and two and one and two, one and two, one and two. One and two and one and two and one, two, one, two, one, two, one and two and two, one, two, one and two and one and two and one. So that about does it for us, right? Wraps us all up. Uh, if you guys have any questions about eighth notes, please feel free to hit me up here. Um, and if not, happy practicing. <laughs>